Howdy everybody, Tab Nation, aka Tom. Today we're just doing a quick video on how to see how long your script is running. You know, maybe you want to get an average user base on, you know, when people use my script, this is usually how long it takes them to complete an action. This is great in the workplace as a way to kind of see how much time you're saving versus you know, not using your script, you know, how slow are people using your script, or how long is it just running kind of in general on itself. So this is really great. It's a built-in variable known as a count tick or, tick, or here. Let me pull up the code. That would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? There we go. A tick count. Okay, I thought so. With an underscore there. So I got two kind of things here to show you. This one's just going to run. It's not really going to wait for me to do any type of input or anything. So we're going to do, we're going to make the variable. Uh, the uh, clock symbols, I always forget what they're called, equals and just a underscore tick count. And it's basically starting your counter there. It is going to be measured in milliseconds. You can always do math in the variable and, you know, convert it into minutes or seconds if you like a number like that. But a lot of people are probably going to want to use milliseconds so they can really see down to the point what they're doing. We're then going to sleep for 3,000 milliseconds, a.k.a. 3 seconds. And now we got to do a little math with what was the, uh, the current time now minus the start time. And that's going to get our total time here. I'm just calling it elapsed time. And then we'll just display it in a message box so we can visually see it. Milliseconds have elapsed. You can obviously have this data going to Excel using comms or automatically into your clipboard, whatever you want to do. But for the video, message box is the easiest. So let's go ahead and run that. I'm already running it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push F1. So obviously there's that three second delay there. And there we go. 3,000 milliseconds have elapsed. So it ran the first line, slept for three seconds. So automatically that's three seconds there. And then it ran this line, the message box. So the fact that there's not even like any other milliseconds here shows that your script is running very quickly. All that was there was that sleep, 3,000. So another thing too is the great thing about this for at least user usage and seeing like, you know, are they being slow to use this? Maybe they don't understand exactly each step by step as clear as they should. You can always play around, see, you know, this user, I, I worded something this way for instructions. And then this user, I worded it this way with instructions and this user was faster. So maybe those instructions are more clear. That's kind of one use case I could see this being used in, at least in a business setting. So we're doing the same thing here, a tick count, start time, using the same variable. Uh, we're going to be using a loop here. Uh, we're just going to loop five times, and we're just going to display a message box that says hi, sleep one second, repeat five times, and then at the end, exact same thing, doing that math there, message box, show us the milliseconds that have passed. So right away, we know this loop is automatically going to have five seconds worth of runtime because, you know, we're sleeping one second, five times, five times one. Hey, it's five seconds or 500 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and run that. But we're going to do something a little different here. When that message box comes up, I'm just going to let it sit there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push OK. Next one comes up, yada, 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 push it. I'll push that one really quick. Oh, you know, let's talk for a little second. How are you guys doing? Oh, you know what? Hit that subscribe button. Two to three videos every week. Notification bell, you know, just so you see them when they come out. And then, uh, what's the other one? Oh, the like button. Helps me out a lot, guys. Thanks. And so I'm going to go ahead and push OK. And now we got the last one there, I believe. And there we go. So as you see, we knew it was going to have at least five seconds there, but because I kind of diddle dally around, it ended up being 33, just a little bit over 33 seconds. So it, even though that message box comes up and kind of pauses your script at that line, it's still counting. And that's great for, you know, a lot of reasons. Um, but yeah, so there we go. You know, because I was talking to you guys, hey, 33 seconds, a little bit over, passed. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, uh, ways that this could be used other than what I said in this video, definitely let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do some type of way to expand on this uh, if I come up with a cool idea. 
Um, but yeah. All right. See you guys on the next one.